Let me see your eyes. Look at my face. What art thou? Your wife, my lord, your true and loyal wife. Had it pleased heaven to try me with affliction, had they rained all kinds of sores and shames on my bare head, steeped me in poverty to the very lips, given in captivity me and my utmost hopes, I should have found in some place of my soul a drop of patience. But alas, to make me a fixed figure for the time of scorn to point his slow, unmoving finger at. Yet could I bear that too? Well, very well. But there, when I have garnered up my heart, where well, either I must live or bear no life, the fountain from the which my current runs, or else dries up to be discarded thence, or keep it as a cistern for foul toads to not engender in. I hope my noble lord esteems me honest. Ah, as summer flies are in the shambles that quicken, even with blowing. Oh, thou weed, for thou art so lovely fair, and smells so sweet that the scent Would thou hadst never been born? Alas, what ignorant sin have I committed? Committed. Committed. Oh, the public commoner. I should make very forges of my cheeks that would to cinders burn up modesty. Did I but speak thy deeds? But committed. Heaven stops the nose at it and the moon winks. The body wind that kisses all it meets is hushed within the hollow mine of earth. And will us hear it? What committed? Impudence, trumpet. By heaven, you do me wrong. Uh, not you, no, a strumpet. No, as I am a Christian. Impossible. Oh, heaven forgive me. I cry you mercy, then. I took you for that cunning whore of Venice that married 